Welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be talking about a DIY for fog ponics and getting your greens growing. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about creating your own fog ponic system. All right, so what are the materials needed for this um, DIY project? You're going to need a bucket with a lid, okay, your ultrasonic fogger, the net pots, and also the water with nutrients. Okay, now once you have all these uh, items, then we can get started on creating your own DIY fog ponic system. But before that, let's little talk about why we should create a fog ponic system. Okay, a fog ponic system, basically the ultrasonic fogger, what it does is that it's inside of the water and it vibrates at very high frequencies. By it doing this, it releases, it turns the water from a liquid to a gas form. You have little micro uh, water droplets that are inside the bucket and what happens is that once your plants are already rooted out, you have a more concentrated droplets going to the, to the roots of your plants. This allows the plants to absorb your nutrients much quickly and it's more efficient for them to be able to get the nutrients because of the micro uh, droplets. Okay, In theory, this is supposed to grow your plants at a faster rate and also more efficiently with less water. Okay, important uh, notes, if you're using the bucket system for your fog ponics, um, if you're going to use a food grade, it's very highly recommended. If you're not going to use a food grade bucket plastic, then be sure to not keep it in direct sunlight so the plastic does not release uh, harmful chemicals into your water that would get into your plants. All right, let's get started. All right, um, we've already explained about the circles, measuring them out, having a centered area, and also having enough space for your net pots. Uh, we're gonna be using is a two inch uh, hole saw. Basically, what you're gonna do is to drill out a, you're gonna pre-drill a hole so we can have an area for this to grab onto. Um, keep in note, guys, when you're drilling these in plastic, do it in reverse on your drill so it doesn't get stuck and it uh, you know destroys your hand or anything like that okay so we're gonna go ahead and draw um, use a small drill bit to get our um our pre-hole in all right all right once you have your holes pre-drilled out you're gonna go ahead and attach your um, your hole saw, and remember I said put this in reverse. All right, so once you are done, you should have something like this. Um, basically, well, now we would go ahead and put our net pots in to make sure that everything fits properly as these are, are slightly a little bit big, but that'll be fine because we'll go ahead and um, secure these well on here and go ahead and start our process. As you can see, the net pots are in and we'll go ahead and pre-drill a hole on the side to get our um, wiring for our ultrasonic fogger. Okay guys, we'll be with you right now. All right, so now we've already pre-drilled our hole for our um, gasket for the ultrasonic fogger. What we'll go ahead and do is make sure that this hole is not big enough yet, so we go ahead and uh, stretch it. Remember, you don't want to overdo it so you have a nice firm uh, seal on your gasket and you don't have any air coming out. Um, so you don't have any air coming out of your system and you're losing water in the process. All right, so now we've completed. We got our gasket in nice and firm and snugged in there so there shouldn't be any escape of uh, fog or mist coming out through there 
we will go ahead and clean our bucket out and get it prepared for our fog ponies. All right, guys. Once you get your uh, holes drilled out for the t for the lid, go ahead and add water in until your um, ultrasonic fogger starts misting out from the top of the water. You can't have it too high because then what would happen is that your system would not um, uh, fog out. So basically, you know, check your levels, mark it inside. So when you have to top it off again, you know where to uh, stop the water level and you can have a better production. Um, basically, get your holes sealed. Um, if you're going to be using uh, either the rock wool cubes or foam, make sure that you have some extra foam um, around the area so your mist does not um, get out and escape and you're not losing out water. Um, we'll go ahead and show you the final results now. All right, guys, so now we have our, our fog ponic system already completed. As you can see that we put some extra foam around so we don't have any escape of the, of the fog that is being created from our ultrasonic fog room. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is implement our nutrients accordingly to the amount of water that we have in our system. Um, you're going to have to, I guess, um, you know, topping this off every so often. Um, basically, as soon as you take off the lid, you're going to lose a lot of fog. So be careful with that, guys. And um, we're going to keep you updated with everything that happens from here on out because this is something that we're doing completely brand new. And we're going to see how good this system is compared to our hydroponic system and our tube system. So um, I thank you guys for uh, watching our video. If you liked our video, make sure that you slap, slap down that like button. Subscribe to our channel so we can update you with all of our future videos. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section so I can get back to you guys. Thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next one.